Here comes the next ticket, clouds. Let's go have some fun. Zero two seven eight, wind one seven zero eight, runway one zero right. Perfect. All right, I'm just gonna make a quick disclaimer before this video starts that this is not an instructional video. This is not a replacement to your flight training, your instrument training. Um, this is just the way that I set up and fly ILS approaches. There's many different ways of doing this stuff. This is just how I was taught. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I teach in my instrument students. Um, but this video, it's not everything. I didn't hit on all the points that are gonna be hit on your instrument training. So you're not gonna walk away from this video knowing the whole instrument rating or being able to shoot an ILS approach perfectly. That's just not the intention of this. This is just kind of my flow through and I'm letting you watch, get your own idea of kind of how an instrument rated pilot flies, this kind of stuff. So with that said, and without further ado, safe skies to you, safe flying in your future. Turn your strobe lights off on the ground and enjoy the video. Thank you. All right. So approach just sent me direct blue seating for the ILS in the Santa Rosa. I was going to show how I like to request an approach using what I call the wart acronym, which is uh, first if you get the weather, then the approach request. R is for route, so how you want to determine uh, how do you want to get there. So either vectors or direct to fix. They're sending us direct Lucy, so that's our route. And termination, how's it going to terminate? You're going to go miss. You're going to need a circle to land, or you're going to just going to do a full stop. Uh, today I'm just going to do a full stop with Santa Rosa. Um, I might give that with Oakland Center. I might just get that with them right now. What I can do right now is brief the approach plate. So if we take a look right here, and I will advise holding the plate up here next to the instruments. We are getting a scan going, you know, looking at the instruments right now. So if I can hold the plate up here in a way that I can still fly the airplane and that's not going to disrupt my scan of instruments, I can see everything still. Localizer Santa Rosa 109.3. Why don't we go ahead and punch it in right now? Oh, look, it's already punched in. The last guy did it for me. Cool. All right, the approach course is going to be 321. We're not there yet, but it's going to happen. We're my landing 6,000 feet, and the touchdown zone is at 122. Great. This approach is going to be a climb 1020, then a climb 6,000 on Mendocino VOR radio 131. All right, our ATIS is 120.55 in Santa Rosa. 3031. Here's our top down view. Here's our profile. Pig pen the final approach fix with the crosshairs at 2000. By pig pen, I'm going to have this airplane configured to land. What that means for this airplane is the gear is going to come down first, then I'm going to go white arc, put a notch of flaps, and uh, put the props full forward. All right, and our minimums are 377 and 24. It says a 2400 RVR and 377 feet above the ground, or 377 feet MSL. 255 above the ground. So the approach is briefed. If there's any questions right now, we can review the miss. So straight ahead to 1020 and then 6000 on that radial from Mendocino. Um, we have a GPS in here, so we'll load that GPS missed approach. I'm going to get the weather right now, and we'll see you in Santa Rosa. Of the airport information November 1953 Zulu wind calm visibility 10 ceiling 1100 overcast temperature 16 2.13 altimeter 3031 let's take a look let's just take a moment to appreciate how awesome this view is real quick there's San Francisco down there you can just barely see the city of San Francisco along with the uh Bay Bridge, Oakland Span, Angel Island out there. It's pretty awesome. I'm wearing my flight instructor shirt today. I find that it's cool to wear a shirt that has a map on it of your flying area, you know. The FOIs. It's all for the students, man. Alright, now the most important things right now how my scan's looking, most importantly, because I'm in an IFR flight plan right now. All right, I haven't hit the actual yet, but it's not bad to develop a scan first. Cross check out size from VFR, of course, but keep the scan going since we're tracking headings and we're on a flight plan, and it's just good to stay in the habit of it. I'm checking my altitude, my attitude, my airspeed, my attitude, my heading, my attitude, 
and my track, my attitude. You want to have those in mind. Also, always cross-check the engine instruments. Make sure the airplane's coordinated. In fact, I could use a little bit more rudder trim. I love rudder trim. Thank God for rudder trim. Just go a little bit to the left. Keep November two seven eight contact Oakland Center one two five point eight five. Oakland Center, 125.85, Taylor. All right, here I'm going to make my work call. So weather, approach request, route to the approach, and how it's going to terminate with Oakland Center. I got November in Santa Rosa. Oakland Center, Air 5278, 5000, heading direct Lucy with November in Santa Rosa. Request the ILS from my 32 approach, direct Lucy, and we'll terminate with a full stop. Air 5278, Oakland, Center, Roger. Just verify for me you have information in November. You can expect the ILS. Center results number 3030. Got information November 278. All right. So I didn't quite get this in the cameras because right after I started them, they'd already sent me direct Lucy. So in the GPS, I got the approach loaded. Of course, it's an ILS approach, so you can't use it. The GPS track for uh, guides is just an overlay and it's an A to navigation. In real life, I have the localizer tuned already, so I'm going to use that. When I hit the approach for any 650 users, the $1,000 button here is the CDI button. Switch to view lock and switch to GPS mode. I'm going to stand GPS mode because I'm going direct Lucy right now. All right, here's the approach. There's magenta line. We love the magenta line. Up ahead is Lucy and the approach pig pen and with three two, and then it loads the missed approach for you. Um, Delta ten thirty three. Nice to have this technology on board. I'm telling you, man. North Cal thirty three ninety five. Delta ten thirty three. So I got all that loaded in right now. And I'm just going to wait for lower. Sitting here at 5,000. All right, about 15 miles to Lucy. We can expect lower in any second here. All right, we're going to intercept the approach course here pretty quick. And I guess they're going to give me lower at some point here. But I'm not quite sure. It is 86 contact, no cal approach, 133.95. 3395, that's 86. It sounds like they just switched controllers, so there's that going on too. Center, Air 5278, it's working for lower when you are. Summer 278, uh, across Lucy Adder above uh, 4300, cleared ILS, runway 32 approach. Lucy out of about 4,300, cleared ILS 3278. All right, Santa Rosa Tower. 3278, how would this approach terminate? We'll be a full stop in Santa Rosa 278. Okay, thank you. All right. Turn the power back just a little bit. Get this descent going now. 4,300 Lucy, and then the ILS. Lucy is in nine seconds. I'm gonna go ahead, just go CDI. We'll go V-Lock mode, twist the approach course, 321. I'm gonna intercept that localizer now. We're a bit above the glide slope, so I'm gonna pull way back on the power. Uh, the glide slope is most definitely alive. Here, I'm just gonna wait a little bit on that approach course. 54, 52, clear direct to Lazo. Direct laws, it's guys 5, 4, 5, 10. So this drop, we're going to come down quick, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, Brooklyn, November not a big deal, because we want to get us up to get us low below the deck, we'll be good. All right, I'm going to get the scan going. I'm looking for uh, past Lucy, so I'm going to bug minimums. I'm going to uh, go ahead and bug 400. Because this glide slips now, what's bringing me lower? Sorry, 3-8 Charlie, 10 via the Bodega 3 arrival, San Francisco, September 3030. All right, there we go. Roger, the approach course. Bodega 3 arrival and uh, San Francisco, ultimate 3030, Qatari 3 Charlie. We're just going to keep Charlie. on coming down. I'm going to bring the two, power right. Contact, Santa Rosa Tower, 118.5. Tower, G5, she's in my
Santa Rosa Tower, Air 75278, EDEV, 3800 inbound, full stop on the ILS 32, information November. Air 75278, Santa Rosa Tower, good afternoon. Runway 32, clear to land. 32, clear to land, 75278. All right, lights and fuel pump and everything can come on. Keep it coming down for the approach course. There's the gear horn. I thought it would happen. All right, I'm below the gear speed and I'm way too high. They vectored me like infinitely high on this approach. 278 to Fable, say top and base is on final. Tops are 4,000, I'll give you the base, it's 278. Thank you. All right, landing gear's down. High up, but we need to drop down and get down for the approach. So I need to get pig pen at 2,000. That's not gonna happen up here. White arc, flaps one. Welcome to the actual IFR, I couldn't forget to say that. And I'm gonna go props full. Eh, props no longer governing, so it doesn't, my RPMs don't move at all, cool. All right, here comes the approach. Lateral guide's pretty pinned right now. And the uh, vertical guide's looking for that. Just gonna slowly come down. It's moving, slowly but surely coming down. The key is the small constant corrections in the IFR. And it looks like we will get this, and assuming I do hold the glide slope, I'll reach pig pen at 2,000. Airplane's configured to land. Props mixture's full. Fuel pump, landing lights, wing lights, recogs on, RPMs are full. Manifold pressures is acquired. Flaps are one. There's three green lights and a gear lever down. Here comes the next ticket clouds. Let's go have some fun. Absolutely pinned. I don't mean to brag. Crossing pig pen. Cleared to land. I'll give the bases. I don't count bases until I see the runway. So the bases will be when I have that contact with the runway. That altitude. All right, looking for about 95 to 100 knots on final here. Final approach fix is crossed. All we're going to focus on is just this. Scanning the altitude for the minimums. Attitude. CDI, let's come back a little bit to get that glide slope. Airspeed, just add a little bit of power and we'll come up and re-intercept that glide slope. Don't, don't want to get low. There we go. Intercept that lateral guidance. Localizer course, just by about three degrees off, that's all we need to do. Cool, and I'm looking for my minimums. I'm looking for 377. We're chilling here. It's a little bumpy in these clouds. There's some disturbance going on. All right, there's 1,400. We got about 1,000 feet to go. 1,000 feet, and I want to see that runway. Two seven eight base is 13.5. Sorry, say again, Mason. 1,350, 278, visual on the runway. Thank you. Cool, visual on the runway, hold that glide slope. I'm looking up now, take my sunglasses off because it's not bright anymore. Cool, there's Santa Rosa. Let's bring it on down. There's three greens. There's flaps, plug of flaps two. I'll land on flaps two. I'm going to aim for about 85 knots on final here. It's a good target airspeed for this airplane. Of course, every airplane's different. Your Cessna's not going to like 85 down the final, so we'll find a better airspeed for that. All right, landing gear's down. There's three greens. Comes checklist. Seatbelt secured. Down I go. All right, there's my minimums. I'm continuing. Runway's in sight. Down I go. Slowly walk that power out, trade that energy, keep the nose up, keep the nose up. Welcome to Santa Rosa. Hey, 
Spirit 278, turn right Alpha 4, contact ground point nine. Right turn Alpha 4, ground point nine two seven eight. Landing lights off because we're not moving, strobes off because we're on the ground and we're on the deck, flaps coming up, cool. Welcome to Santa Rosa. Uh, 